Patanjan Negi, before I come to my women sports persons who are joining us, you were coaching the team in, in, in that period when it, Indian hockey, women's hockey was going through tough times, but you took us to victory, I think, in the Asian game. Give us your sense. For you, what, what does this moment mean? Is this the biggest moment in Indian women's hockey by some distance? Or, and certainly probably the biggest moment in Indian hockey since 1980 winning that work, uh, winning the Olympics. Yes, uh, it is one of the greatest moments in Indian hockey um, uh, because uh, it has been four decades that India is devoid of a medal. And uh, these girls, uh, without any uh, incentives, without any facilities, uh, without any tournaments being organized at the local level, they are pumping themselves up. And the entire hockey fraternity, you know, they are providing them that love and affection in a hope that someday India will win. And that are, are you saying, are, are you saying uh, Negi Saab, that even today the players don't get the kind of facilities they need? Or has it got better since you, uh, in the last decade? There is uh, no facility at the ground level. Mm. Trust my things. There are no tournaments for the girls, and they pump themselves up. They pump themselves up just to keep, you know, uh, their morale up. Mm. And uh, the way they played uh, in the semi-finals against Australia, uh, doing all odds. I am so proud today. You know, uh, it is unbelievable performance. Down by three goals, as uh, Boria Madhumda said, and then coming back and. Okay, I'm having some problem with the audio, but I, I, you know, I can sense your enthusiasm and you are part of this story, Miranjan Negi, because, you know, you yourself in a way reflect what past hockey players have done for the sport. Let's go to our sports person, Nisha Millet. You've been an Olympian swimmer and now you're seeing an Indian women's hockey team reach the semi-finals. You're seeing three of our women Olympians having won medals. And, and it could get better with Lovelina, who knows, and even in women's re wrestling as well. Is this for you a moment of the Indian woman sports person truly coming out, the coming out party of the Indian woman sports person? Absolutely, Rajiv. I think there's absolutely no barrier, like you said, that they're going to break. In fact, I think our men are lagging behind. If you look at all our last few Olympic medals, they've all been won by women. So I think we have such great female role models for young girls who are looking at pursuing sports. Uh, you don't have to always talk about a Virat Kohli or, a, you know, or, or only go to cricket. Hockey, I think a lot of people forget, is our national sport. And there's so much pride associated with that. Today, everywhere I went, including my pool, people, all they could talk about was Kamalji, was the hockey girls, uh, was Sindhu's amazing match yesterday. So it's a coming of age. But I do think things have changed for my time. I think the government is investing a lot. I heard close to about 80 crores has been spent in the last uh, five years between the men's and the women's team to get them to where they are today, but that needs to continue. And we want to see that medal, yes, but let's not forget, even by some chance, if they don't do that, they have scripted history and they really, I think, energized the nation and probably revived uh, women's hockey in the country. You know, you, I, I want